Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. I wasn't originally going to do a video on this as I just released another video based on a network controller update for Unify. But this Unify Protect application 1.21.0 is a big release. So we're going to go through the release notes and then we'll take a look in our Unify Protect at some of the changes. I will have timestamps down below if you don't want to hear me read all of this and just want to see the changes in the UI. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. If you'd like to support the channel, we do have memberships available now and you can join below this video. To get started, we need to have the following versions. For our Union Pro, we need to have 1.10.4, UDM SC 2.2.4, UDR the 2.2.12, the UNVR UNVR Pro will be 149, and then the Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, we need to be on 2.1.11. Now, as you can see, there are a ton of different improvements and bug fixes. I'm not going to run through any of the bug fixes, but let's talk about some of the improvements. It adds notification for floodlights and smart sensors, it consolidates application update into one event improves time-lapse event description. It improves the doorbell ring notification delivery speed, which I have noticed in the past that it's a little slow. For the web UI, it adds earliest recording date on hover in the dashboard. It adds the ability to control the floodlight LED to the camera live view. It adds icon to reset access widget in the dashboard. It adds a gallery view to the playback page, which I did try to do this, but I have over six cameras. We could see here that it says four setups with less than six cameras. If you have six cameras and less, try this out and let me know how well it works. And this is a big one to me anyways. It adds smart detection analytics, and we'll look at that in the UI. We also have improve video quality selection, improve how events are merged into the timeline improve audio toggling in live view maximize slots and this is another big option that people had been asking for so the option to have the same ai 360 in multiple live slots with different de-warping modes and we'll create a new live view and check this out we update device tile design it shows colored icons when notifications is enabled we show dates in the detection gallery view which is actually pretty great and we show event log for floodlight and smart sensor. We have warnings for bad Wi-Fi on wireless cameras, such as the G4 doorbell. For wireless cameras, it improves the connection stability. And then we have some improvements for a few different cameras. So the AI Bullet G3 Pro, G4 Dome, and the AI360. Like I said, I'm not going to go through these bug fixes. Let's take a look at some of the changes in the Protect dashboard. Okay, now we're into my UNVR Pro, and I don't see anything really different on the Unify Protect dashboard. The only difference that I do see is this icon on the left hand side and this is for our analytics. If we go down to devices, I typically have it in this list view but they said they did change the tile view. I don't really notice anything different in this either but let me know if you do. Now let's take a look at the live view and we'll create a new custom live view to check out the AI360. So I'll go to my live view and then we'll select a new view. From here I'm going to add live view. I'll give this new live view a name of 1.21.0. And then we'll add some cameras to it. So I'll click on the grid and we have my AI 360 camera. So we're going to put that on here three times. So I'll drag and drop it. And we should be able to de-warp this and put it to different positions in my backyard. I'll also put on my G4 bullet camera in my backyard. And currently this grid type only says four cameras. I'm going to say to go to seven and we'll add a few more. So I'll put my front door. I'll put my garage. And then I'll put the left side driveway and we'll press save. As we can see here, all of the AI360 cameras have the same picture. The one on the left hand corner, I'm going to leave at default, but we're going to want to switch these other two. So I'll click on the one in the right corner. And then in the left corner, we can see we now have that de-warp mode. So I'll click on the de-warping. And this is the picture that it would give us. And we could move the camera if we'd like. We just click this toggle switch. And then we'll move it to where we want that to always be viewing in our live view. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to untoggle the move. And then we're going to go out. Now we could see in the left hand corner, the AI360 is the fisheye lens. And then on the right hand side, it's using that de-warp. Let's change the one in the bottom left corner. So we'll click the de-warp and then we'll change the move icon. I'm going to move this one to the right side of my backyard. Maybe a little bit up. And then we'll toggle the move off and we'll exit. 
now we could have this in multiple different views if we'd like and i think that's an awesome improvement under one of the improvements for playback it says it shows the audio level and i'm not really too sure where that is but i think it's this right hand side where we see these blue waves if you know exactly where it is or if that is it let me know in the comments and within our detections it's now showing us the date and time so we could see there is movement today at 12 14 p.m we could also scroll further back and we could see there was movement on february 4th at 906 p.m and I really like this feature. Now let's take a look at the analytics. Now looking at the analytics, we could choose per camera. I believe this will only be for the G4 series of cameras as well as any AI camera. We could see at the top that we could do different filters, one day, seven day, one month, or custom. Right now we're selecting the person detection and we could see at the times when people were detected. So between 4.20 and 4.25 p.m. there was one person and same at 5.10 to 5.15 p.m. We could select vehicles and you could see there's a lot more traffic with the vehicle. So people are going by all the time. And on the screen, it's showing us a heat map of where these vehicles are going. If we look at another camera for the vehicles, we could also see another heat map of people going down the road and then into my driveway. We could also look for people. And it will show us the different times as well as the heat map scan. And this is really great to see where people have been going, especially at nighttime. And these were just some of the improvements for Unify Protect 1.21.0. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this update. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.